Alrighty, hello. Um, that's not really a point to this video. Um, I just know that uh, I wasn't going to be able to upload anything on Saturday. Uh, hadn't recorded anything um, for Saturday. Does this work? I mean, it kind of does, but it's kind of like it's got the winds. That's not going to work. All right. Um, I uh, for those who don't know. Uh, for those who haven't been following my other social media platforms, um, I think I think really I only made a mention on this uh, on Facebook. I might have done a video about it. I don't know. But uh, a friend of mine passed away um, uh, last Sunday. And, you know, it was kind of, you know, last minute. It wasn't, however, a surprise to me overall because this friend, um, it was a really good friend, oh, way, way back. Um, we knew each other at my first day job when I worked at uh, Chick-fil-A in the Lufkin Mall. Um, and uh, this is uh, back when mostly what I did was uh, doing the cow. It's mostly what I did was just wearing the cow suit and we'd do all kinds of uh, events. Actually, I think that Chick-fil-A was the, the one store that I know of that did something, um, was pushing a lot of marketing. And so he was the marketing director. It was Lance Moore, real cool guy. And, uh, but when I knew him back then, he had health issues. He had health issues back then. And since then he had been in and out of the hospital. He had multiple um, uh, surgeries and, and he you know would uh, you know think that he was fine and then all of a sudden pass out during some events and so yeah it was not a huge surprise to me which is unfortunate to say um, uh, but you know it is what it is life is what it is so I had to go um, to to the funeral, and that week I had been like trying to rush to get stuff done so that I could have that day off because I had stuff that was due by that day, uh, and I knew I had to go to bed um, early. I didn't go to bed too early. I went to bed at like twelve thirty, and I had to get up at four fifty in the morning so that I could make it all the way there to the funeral. Uh, so I was like running on about four hours of sleep, spent an entire day in the city, in the town. Um, I call it a town, it's technically a city, but I call it a town. And um, met up with a lot of friends. Um, we, we reminisced, we had lots of great things to say. He wasn't one of those guys that really anyone had anything bad to say about, which is good. Um, made sure that his family was okay. It was a big deal to me. Um, and I got another good friend who's, you know, who also lives in the same city, um, who they, they were actually better friends than, than I was. Um, and so he's making sure that they're fine. He's taking care of them. I let him know if he needs anything. Um, and then had to drive back, back home and, and, uh, took an hour nap halfway home. It was like, it's a three hour, 50 minute drive to get from Austin to, to Lovely. And um, that's why I had to take an <laughs> hour nap because I was dying from the four hours of sleep. And the previous night I had also gotten um, very little sleep. And so, and then the following day when I got home, I actually couldn't go to bed immediately. I had work to do that I had to get done immediately. Um, and so I stayed up until <laughs> basically like six in the morning. <laughs> No, it was past that. I think I stayed up till like eight in the morning doing uh, voiceover work, very large projects, getting those done, you know, before the deadline. Um, and then I think I slept for like two hours before I had to take my roommate, um, Steven, to work. Um, and then when I got home, there was nothing but really, really loud Mexican music from every nearby apartment. Cause I mean, by that, 
by that time it was like oh it's the weekend and, and like no one's no one's home at this time everyone should be at work and i'm the only one here sleeping so i couldn't sleep i couldn't sleep and i would I like look out and i would like try to like say it's like hey good job but like no one could hear me the music was so goddamn loud <laughs> and so i didn't actually fall asleep until about nine o'clock that night and then i slept for 12 hours i just no alarm phone was off um you know it was the weekend you know uh, leave me alone i think for, i think um my roommate had the day off too so it was uh, a total blessing um and then yeah that, that was it that was my week so i haven't got a chance to look over the comments uh, you know uh record the right thing uh i have some stuff that i've recorded that were reactions to other uh, you know another youtuber's channel because they had some videos that confused some people and i wanted to give some insight but i i kind of don't want to upload those i don't want to I kind of don't want to do any more, unless it's like an interview or I have more insight into what they're actually thinking. I don't want to put words in people's mouths. Um, there are some things that I'll probably do reactions to and reviews of, but there's just a part of me, if it's like another voice actor, I mean, like they could do the exact same thing to me, um, you know, uh, you know, and I, and I wouldn't want them to, you know, twist my words around or, or claim that I said something that I didn't say. So, um, I don't know, probably won't upload those. Maybe I will. I'll look over them again, see, see how they, they edit. But, uh, yeah, there's not really going to be any, uh, real video for a little while. I'll try to do stuff like this, but for a little while I, I gotta get caught up. I, I I'm just so tired. <laughs> And yes, it's been a week and I'm still trying to catch up. I have I have one huge project that I got to do. I just finished another huge project and um I'm hoping to do some more 1 minute anime um fan dubs uh which I'm I'll probably do some more um uh Bunny Girl Senpai cuz people seem to like that one the most. Um but yeah. So that's going to be it. Uh yeah. Uh thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you later. Peace.